Hey, what's going on, guys? Your favorite YouTuber here, Sincere, aka Missouri Cantonella, aka Sebastian. Now, most of this I'm about to say is going to be totally ranting, but the big, my biggest issue with live is the lack of modes, the lack of attention that they gave to the WNBA because it. Uh, those ladies deserve so much more so 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 much more i even found one player on twitter and i uh i posted a clip of her while i was playing the game and then she told me oh that'll be great but i don't even shoot with that hand so they they're not even some of the stuff is not even accurate to the players but it's cool it's cool i'm glad that we got the WNBA this year that was a cool thing but we need some more molds man to that but I'm seeing, I've seen a video from Malik, right? And he posted that, um, I'll put the video on the link below. He posted that, uh, well, it seemed like a wish list type of thing that NBA Live getting an open world. NBA Live is not ready for that. And I don't think they can be executed on this engine. Nope. I don't know if the devs are working on the Frostbite engine currently. If they are, that'd be good because they gotta they gotta learn it first before they even put it out there for us to even use it. And then I know we know that Ignite is just not it's just not prepared for that open world thing. Like it, it won't work for us. And then once we get the open world, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Where are we gonna go? How are we gonna get there? Those are the type of questions that have to be answered. Because once you when you have a real open world, not the neighborhood type of thing that um, 2K gave us, I'm talking about a real open world. Open worlds consist of different places with big sandbox areas. How are we gonna execute that in the current state of NBA Live? And then once we do that, what about gameplay? Because we still got canned animations. We don't have no freedom with our player. How can... I said this on Swaggy P's uh, live stream yesterday. How can I be the one where everyone else does everything that I do? You can't. You can't be an individual. We, we all got the same damn tattoos. What? I've been a tattoo artist for 14 years tattooing is my life how can i be an individual if i look like everyone else we got face scans cool but our bodies are the same we literally have the same tattoos like that's those type of things those little details are type of issues for me then the spamming of the steals you see a guy out there just swiping away like he's fanning at a fly or something like that's crazy to me and he doesn't even have to pay a consequence for that in real life basketball, you're getting crossed or somebody's taking you whole if you're sitting there just swiping. That's not, whatever, I digress. <laughs> Another thing that I want to touch on is uh, Paragon. He's like the community bad guy. But a lot of people, I find him entertaining, man. I find him really entertaining. Like, um, Okay, so maybe people don't like his approach, but, um, and this is not a shot or anything. My boy Rhea Ricky, he does the same thing, but nobody, like, comes at him the same way they come at Paragon. Now, I'm not defending Paragon, because, I mean, me and him, we've had our words in the past, but the guy is fucking entertaining. You can't take that away from him, man. I laugh like when I watch his videos, I die. Like I am talking about this shit's hilarious, man. This motherfucker, he made a goddamn song, bro, to fly guy GBG's girl. <laughs> that shit's hilarious, man. I don't give a fuck if you don't like somebody personally, bro. You gotta set that shit aside from what's real and what's not 
entertainment is fucking entertainment. You can't take that away from anybody. But if you like this video, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Go down there in the comments. Let me know how you guys feel. Peace.